Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating the frequency divider circuit. We would be simulating the frequency divider circuit using the Autodesk Tinkercad tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel below. Now open the Autodesk Tinkercad and sign in using your Gmail account. Now click on create new circuit. Now we get a new page and in this particular page you can rename this particular circuit as frequency divider. Now come to your right hand side and you can see the search bar and in this particular search bar let us select the breadboard select the breadboard small and place this particular breadboard in order to rotate use R button on your keyboard next we require a triple five timer in order to design the frequency divider so now search for battery and select the 9 volt battery and place this particular battery in the schematic window. Next search for triple five timer and place this particular triple five timer in the schematic window. Now connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the breadboard rail as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to connect the negative rail of the breadboard to the negative terminal of the battery. Now the other end of the negative terminal and the positive terminal of the breadboard must be connected. Now the next thing is we have to power this particular triple five timer. So the pin number eight is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the pin four is also connected to the positive terminal of the battery. The negative terminal is connected to the pin number one which is ground. Next we have to place the various components. So click on capacitor and in order to rotate use R and place this particular capacitor on the breadboard as shown in this particular tutorial. Change the value of the capacitance to 0 0.05 microfarad. Next connect the pin number 5 of the triple five timer to the terminal 1 of the capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial and the other end of the capacitor terminal is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now select the second capacitor which is required for this particular simulation and place this particular capacitor on the breadboard in order to rotate use R and connect the terminal 1 of the capacitor to the negative terminal of the breadboard rail. Now connect the discharge pin of triple five timer to the threshold pin as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to place a potentiometer and in order to rotate use R button on the keyboard and place this particular potentiometer as shown in the breadboard. Now connect the terminal 2 of potentiometer to 
pin number 7 or the discharge pin and connect the terminal 1 to the positive end of the breadboard and the other terminal to the positive rail of the breadboard. Now connect the other terminal of the capacitor to the threshold pin of triple five timer and next search for the function generator and place this particular function generator in the schematic window the frequency will be 1000 amplitude will be 5 volt dc offset as 2.5 volt and square wave the positive terminal of the function generator is connected to the terminal 2 of the triple five timer and the negative end of the function generator is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard as shown in this particular tutorial. Next, in order to measure the output, we require an oscilloscope. So search for oscilloscope and select the oscilloscope and place this particular oscilloscope in the schematic as shown. Now the negative terminal is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard and the positive terminal is connected to the output of the triple five timer which is pin number three. So place the oscilloscope connection to pin number three and the negative end to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now click on the oscilloscope and change the time per division to 100 microsecond and next we will run this particular simulation. Now you can see the now by varying the value of the potentiometer you can see the variation in the frequency divider circuit. In this circuit the triple five timer is connected as a monostable multivibrator. Once a timing cycle is initiated by an input pulse, the subsequent input pulse have no effect until the cycle is completed as shown in this particular tutorial. So the input and the output waveform is varied on the R1 values varied accordingly. So for a typical input and output waveform, the output frequency is half of the input frequency. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.